Yo, what's up guys? So we just got to VIE. Hey, Free Wi-Fi. And you can get a free drink. What's going on guys? It's the Raekwon of Travel Blogging. We are going to go to Saigon's nearest beach town today, Vung Tao. I'm not going to just be one type of way. I ain't a gangster. Gangsters is dead. You know what I mean? We have done a ton of videos on this, but we figured we'd show you guys once again this very cool little destination, only about an hour and a half away by limo bus. We're gonna show you where to catch a limo bus, and we'll show you a little bit of the journey, and then we're gonna put together some real interesting content for you guys while we're out in one of my favorite little towns, Vung Tao. What's up with it guys? So we are about to hop in the ride. We're headed over to pick up the limo bus. Um, we're using VIE. We booked them on an app. I'll have Mish tell you guys about the app once we're on the bus. Um, it should take about an hour and a half and we'll be out in Hong Tao. Yo, what's up guys? So we just got to VIE. That, that's the bus company we're gonna use to get out to Bunk Town. Um, they got pretty pretty nice limo buses. We'll show you guys that. Um, you, we booked them online with the app. I'll have Michelle talk about that once we get on the bus. But um, this, again, Wing Tai Bin Street. Have a little bit of a look around so you can familiarize yourself. This is the street that all the mini buses that go to Bunk Tower are based on. There's like five, six different companies, so you can kind of shop between them. But a few of them are really, really janky, guys. Like, really janky. Like, you want to try to make sure you go with the ones that are for sure limo bus. Like, you need to check that it's VIP or limo bus. Um, because there's also other companies here that use their same name, but the service is really, really different. Um, I usually like VIE, but now they brought in this tout guy who's like outside begging, basically. Uh, and it really ruined the experience. Um, generally speaking, I have a good feeling about them, but right now I'm a little bit annoyed because I literally got out and the guy's on me like, you know, vung tao, vung tao, vung tao, and it's like, <laughs> bro, this is the shit that they do at the bad bus companies. I liked you guys because you guys were chilling. It was a professional thing. Now you got homeboy coming out here. So, you know, this is kind of the transportation thing, guys. It's a little bit crazy.
Yo, so what makes this place a little bit interesting is that they have like a little bit of a cafe built into it and it's got like a little bit better seating than your average bus station. Uh, generally speaking, I like them. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more relaxed than some of the other bus stations that are on Link Time Bend Street. But uh, the new guy they got working. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but once you're inside, you see it's still pretty cool. <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? We're still at uh, the IE limousine bus station. Just want to let you guys know, they do have a uh, free Wi-Fi and you can get a free drink. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's just regular uh, Vietnamese style cafe drinks. They have um, peach tea, lemon tea, Vietnamese coffee. Um, but it's kind of a nice service because it's really hot out. So to have a nice iced tea is awesome. But uh, I want to tell you guys about the app. So I booked online and I just want to show you guys the app. I don't know how to say it, but it's called Vexiri. Yeah, so you just click there. And they have a bunch of different locations. So like we're going Ho Chi Minh to Vong Tao, but you can go Moi Nai, you know, Barrio Vong Tao, Hanoi, Da Nang, Binh Dinh, you know. They have like a bunch of different places you can go to. Um, so this specific bus, the IE, costs one person. 160,000. Yeah, 160,000. 160,000 and uh, I'll just translate that real quick to USD 60. I think it's gonna be about five bucks. So, oh no, uh, USD it's six dollars 88 cents. So, like about seven bucks each for VIP bus. And we'll show you guys what it looks like. They got massage chairs. Uh, like I said, they give you free water. Super comfortable. Crank in the AC. Hopefully no karaoke, but we'll see. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? So, Vung Tao is an interesting one for me because I've done a lot of content on it and it's some of my top searched videos and they're really controversial because I curse so all the old people that gravitate towards Vung Tao get all mad at me and get all trolly and crazy so it's almost always interesting when we make a trip out here. I'm really curious to see how these videos work out. I, I really do revel in pissing these guys off. <laughs> Because the way I see it is like, I might curse and I might be a little bit coarse and, and rough around the edges, but I take care of people and all my reviews and all my, anything you find, look into me online, you know, it's all positive. But yet there's people who will speak eloquently to you and they'll, they'll talk to you very politely and they'll look very professional, but they'll bend you over and get right up in that ass. So to me, that's just a sign of, you know, bad priorities and, you know, not, not really, Peep and game, brush your teeth. So peep guys, that's a whole my. So that's basically the same type of bus we're taking, just a different company. But you always want to make sure it's whole my VIP because there's a regular whole my and that shit is janky as fuck. You're gonna be riding out there with packages, stopping all the time. It is cheap though, it's only 70,000, which is about $3. So that's the regular whole my. Um, but we're not using Hoa Mai today, we're using VIE, so we're going to show you what that bus looks like when it rocks up. Space aged, right? We have a cup holder with some massage chair so you can start the massage. And I don't remember, but oh, yeah, there is some uh, outlet to plug your phone. And uh, sometimes they turn on this TV. We'll see. It's pretty nice, guys. Like the seats are extremely comfortable. Um, you've got the little massage chair thing going. They give you water. We got free Wi-Fi. Almost all the buses do, but I think the IE has some of the nicer buses. 
home. Generally, the waiting area is nicer. Yeah, and like, this just looks so tripped out. It's taller. Some of the buses, the roofs are lower. I like it with the clocks and, like, the space-looking stuff. Like, it's a trip. It's definitely uh, a nice way to get out to Voluntau, guys. Like, we'll do the hydrofoil also before we leave so that we can show you guys that again. We have old videos if you search them. Anyways, we're going to go take our trip and try to cool out and enjoy a little bit of the day as well. So we'll touch base with you when we arrive in Voluntau. So you know we definitely watching ourselves, watch ourselves, brush your teeth.
so what's up guys so this is the rest stop when you get off the bus they got bathrooms they got like little spots to chill they got some food for sale good vietnamese snacks uh, i'll show you guys a little bit so these most of these buses stop at least once or twice depending how far you're going at these little rest stops see this is where the buses are parked at and then uh you've got some decent little eateries but you generally don't have too much time for food so usually what we do is we just grab some snacks um if you're driving yourself and you want a meal these are always decent options uh they're usually very cheap uh they've got all kinds of stuff she's selling tea and coffee they got some coconuts you know fruit that kind of stuff you just pay up there up ahead and now we're gonna go peep some viet snacks see what see what we can find hey sin chow am uh, all right let's see what we got service that would be something I would try to like nip that in the bud um, I know the guy's probably just trying to be helpful and make money for the business but I always feel like this is definitely not the right way to go about it if like you're actually trying to be successful <laughs> that you know again it's different different understanding of business guys so it's stuff you have to get used to I take it in stride these days but it is uh, <laughs> It, it can be infuriating if you're not used to uh, some aspects of the business culture. It's a good thing, guys, though. This is about growing and changing and challenging your own perceptions. So I think, you know, traveling around in uh, Vietnam, for those of you who've never lived in developing countries, this would be a good experience for you. Challenge yourself a little.
guys, we have arrived in Vung Tau, uh, Saigon's nearest beach town. The trip took about one and a half hours, two hours, and there was traffic, probably about two hours. Two hours uh, and 20 minutes. Two hours and 20 minutes. To the street the to the hotel though. Yeah, right to, we're staying right on the beach, so I'm gonna show you guys the hotel next. Um, this video basically gives you an indication of how it is to take the limo bus from the city out to Vong Tau. There's a lot of different limo buses, but we wanted to at least show you one of them. Look at some of our old videos. We've done a lot of the other companies also. And while we're in the, the South, we'll continue to cover more for you. Um, anyway, guys, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I don't know when these will get published, but at some point you'll be seeing them. Brush your face and wash your teeth, son. Hey, what's up? I'm Dee from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up, guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start. You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. We help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do. Are you thinking of living, working, or investing in Thailand? Thailand is an amazing country that's more open than it has ever been before. They're a country that's looking into the future and doing some really radical things. It's an amazing time to be in Thailand and there is a tremendous amount of opportunities for somebody who has an open mind. Who you deal with in Thailand will determine your experience to a great extent. If you do business with the wrong people, you can end up losing money and even in legal trouble. We have the contacts that you need to help you get on your feet in this amazing country and avoid all kinds of drama and problems that could come about by doing business with the wrong people. If you're interested in investing, working, employment, contacts for visas, contacts for housing, contacts for real estate, we got you covered. 